You know, the 63 Impala guy. Yeah. Okay, so I got this idea from uh, 63 Impala, and I did not discuss the idea with him at all. Funny baby and that 63 Impala has been cohorting about something, and I didn't know what it was till she come out from upstairs and showed me this here. Okay, so I'll say hi, 63 Impala. Hi, 63 yeah, Impala. <laughs> I got the lowdown. I've done some investigating. I hired private detectives and I called the FBI and the CIA and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. And we found out that what happened is he met up with a hula dancer at that uh, at that hunter car pile up and he run off to Bermuda with her. And he's down there in the Bermuda Triangle and he can't get no cell phone reception so he can't post no messages. So that's where he's at. And as soon as his money runs out and he sobers up, he's going to be coming back home. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm plum exhausted, McKay. I got a phone call last night about midnight, and it seems my old buddy 63 M. Power done better rest than McKay down in South America I'm somewhere. He's a long way from Maine to South America in a two-wing airplane, but I flew all the way down there, and I got down there and I got on my plane, and I bailed him out of jail. That booger. He jumped in the plane and scooped up a stewardess, went out the back door, and, and he done off. found himself a bar, and he done gotten into the Next tequila. Thing, you know, he coops out the back door, jumps on a mule, he's got a red head on one hip and a jug of tequila in the other, and he takes off for the mountains, and nobody's seen him since. videotaping this. I'm trying to get you out of here, boy. Get put that redhead down. Get, get rid of that tequila. Down in the Bermuda Triangle. Slung me off down into Bolivia where I got tangled up with some Bolivian drug lords and whatnot.